welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about lipstick. It's like the I Heart Lipstick Tag, Crazy About Lipstick Tag, any something like that. I'm not really sure. But yeah, it is 2.19 in the morning. And this is what I do. This is how I'm addicted to makeup. My uh, boyfriend's in the other room gaming online and I'm over here playing with makeup because that's just what we do. We're pretty much nocturnal and yeah, I'm a little bit obsessed. So I just want to do this video. I saw somebody do it. I was watching videos um, a little bit earlier and somebody did this tag and I was like, that's a really cool tag. And I decided to put my own kind of, not twist, but I also added in throughout the whole video, anytime I'm talking about a different lipstick, I'm going to have that lipstick on my lips to kind of show you because those are my favorite kind of videos when people talk about lipstick and then I can actually see it on their lips and kind of relate because it's so hard sometimes being like, you know, looking at swatches because that can look totally different than on the lips. So yes, long story short, this is going to be all about lipsticks, not lip glosses, and let's just get started. Okay, and the first question is, how many lipsticks are in your collection? And I counted before this video, I counted 61 and then probably a couple in my purse as well, which is not here with me in this room. But that could seem like a lot to you, that could seem like nothing to you at all, really is just depending on somebody's opinion. I personally love collecting makeup and collecting lipsticks specifically, so to me that's a good amount, and you know, I know I'm just going to keep building, but yeah, so around 60, 61. Number two, how old were you when you started using lipstick? This is a hard one again because I know when I was really little, like, I don't know, five, six, or seven, I'm sure I used my mom's lipstick. We all used their bright red lipstick and drew everywhere but our lips. But for, like, actually wearing lipstick out and enjoying lipstick, probably maybe high school. Maybe my sophomore, junior, and senior year of high school, I started to really play with makeup and, um, lipstick in general, and specifically nude lipsticks. I was all about the nude lips. It was crazy. I was like about the super concealer and then uh, even more nude lipstick over that, but yeah, so me sophomore and junior and senior year of high school. Number three, what lipsticks can you not live without? This would be anything that is moisturizing. So I have pretty dry lips, and especially coming into the winter time like we're coming right now in the fall time, they get even more dry, so anything like a Nivea lip butter, um, super nice, and especially something that doesn't have hair on it, um, that has a little bit of a tint, maybe like a light pinky tint like this one I really enjoy. Also great lipsticks are the Essence Lipsticks. This one right here is in Frosted, and it's kind of like a frosty pink. It's super sheer, but as you can see, it's very hydrating. It gives a small color payoff, but and I'll put it over what I have on right now. And it's just really hydrating and conditioning on the lips. So this is like $1.99 or $2.99, or $2 and I think Nivea is for like $3.99. So super good bargains for these right here. Okay, number four, show us a lipstick you use to stand out. I have this one right here, and I have two options to show you. The obvious option is the Maybelline Vivids. Anything from their line is going to stand out. This one right here is Hot Plum. It's just a beautiful pinky plum color. There it is on my hand. And then what I have on my lips right now is the Shani Cosmetics. Um, I got this in a 12-piece kit I bought offline from them, and this is in number 12. This is more of kind of like Brazenberry from the Vivids collection. It's more of a plummy purple color. And it's very creamy. It is this right here. And that is what I have on my lips right now. And I absolutely love this. I love the formula. And I believe the kit was for 12 lipsticks. It was $19.95, something like that. Super inexpensive. And yeah, I highly recommend these lipsticks as well. Okay, number five. Show us a lipstick that you last bought. This is a lipstick that I last bought. It was the Revlon Super Lustrous Collection, I believe, in Pink Pout. And I heard Melissa here on YouTube talking about it all the time. I think it's Mel MPS, something like that. I'll link it down below. But she talks about this and Primrose all the time, and I just never picked them up. And I really like the Revlon Super Lustrous line in general. I have a couple other ones as well. Finally picked it up a couple weeks ago, and I'm so obsessed. This is what it looks like. This is a more of a matte lipstick. And it's what I have on my lips. They're super hydrating for being on the matte lipstick and um, really comfortable on the lips. It goes on super smooth and very pigmented, so loving this and I'm really happy with this purchase. Okay, number six, what lipstick do you regret buying? It's this one I have on right here, and it's not for the color. This is the CoverGirl, I'm not sure what this line is called, uh, but it's looking like this packaging, and then the color is 
Divine Divine 330. Love the color. Obviously, I just showed it in my Shani Cosmetics. But the bummer that I regret buying about this, or the reason I regret buying this, is the fact that I already have so many shades like it, and it's nothing special. Um, it's not as creamy as the Shani Cosmetics, but it's so similar in color. Let me hold them up. Super similar in color, and that's just what I do. When I find a color that I absolutely love, I find myself just gravitating towards it all the time. And I'm like, I come home and I'm like, oh, I already have four colors already like that. But yes, so I regret buying this just because, like I said, it's nothing special. And I already have Shani Cosmetics and a couple others as well. And there it is, swatched. So here's Shani Cosmetics, and here is the CoverGirl one. And it's what I have on my lips. I guess it will be nice though when I'm done with the Shani Cosmetics or any other ones that I finish up, I will have this in backup so it is going to be the, the same color, which is nice. And, and then another thing about this that I just realized like crazy is this thing stained my lip like nobody's business. Look at this. Why did it do that? Seven. What is your favorite lipstick at the moment? It's this one right here. It does have a tiny bit left over from that Cover Girl lipstick, which this thing I did not know it stained that bad. I don't remember it staining this bad last time I used it, but my lips are so stained right now, like a weird berry red color. But um, I tried to cancel it out with concealer completely, and then I went in with this Sephora Rouge Shine lipstick. This is just my favorite kind of like go-to lipstick because it's that perfect nude for me, um, and it goes with any look. So this is it right here. It's pretty sheer, but oh, it's definitely a shine. It's super moisturizing, and I just love it. I'm going to give my lips a break on this question. Do you like love, or are you addicted to lipsticks? Um, I'd probably say all of the above. I do, I like, and I love lipstick, and... I think I'm addicted. Looking at what I have in front of me right now and then counting earlier and that's not including lip glosses or anything, I definitely think I'm addicted. Just because I think it's stuff that never goes out of style and you can pair it with anything and I just think that lipstick can change a look completely. If you guys have seen my videos, um, I did six different lipsticks for one look. I'll link that down below. I had one basic going out or whatever kind of look and then I paired six different lipsticks showing each of them from like nude, purple, orange, red, kind of you showing, uh, kind of showing the power of what lipstick can do and how it can change the occasion. So definitely say I'm addicted just because I think it's so fun. Okay, and the next question was show us your favorite red lip and then I kind of combined it with another question that was um, uh, what lipstick reminds you of somebody special. So I paired it with the bold lip and what I used to do with that was this Mirabella Lip Luster Liner in Hypnotic. I got this in an Ipsy bag a while back. And then I also paired it with the, what did I just do with it? It's another Shiny Cosmetics. This is in 08 and I absolutely love this. It's more of a warm red. And there it is. It has more orange in it than it does blue. And this is what it looks like. It also reminds me of a special person, which is my boyfriend, because the first time I wore this red lip, it was like the first time he saw me with a red lip, and he just kind of stared at me and just, he was just really sweet. And Okay, the last question is going to be, what is the most expensive and inexpensive lipstick that you own? So the most expensive lipstick I own is this Lancome Rouge lipstick, and I believe it's Rouge in Love. That's a color, I believe. This is what it looks like right here. It's kind of like a peachy, um, deeper nude, and here is it swatched. I have it swatched next to my other favorite nude lipstick. This is that Sephora one I showed you, and this is the Lancome one. I have it on my lips right now. And this retails for $26, and I don't usually spend this much on lipstick because, like I've showed you in this video, there's other great deals that you can get, like the Maybelline Vivids, um, Milani lipsticks, Revlon lipsticks. They all have really good pigmentation, super creamy, everything like that. I had a gift card to Macy's, and I was walking around in there, and I had no idea what to buy. I kept, like, picking up things, putting it back, and then the lady at the Lancome uh, station just drew me in, and we just kept talking about lipsticks, and I was trying on lipsticks, and I was like... I liked this one on, so I just picked it up, and I really like it, and I'm glad that I picked it up. And then my most inexpensive lipstick would be... I already talked about this one. This is the Essence. I said this was like $2.99, I think it is. And this is the number 10 Frosted. I already showed that. It's right here in the center. 
really super frosty color and it's very sheer. Or the e.l.f. matte lip color. This one is in tea rose and I'm obsessed with this as well. It's more of a mauve purple. And I had this on in the beginning when I was answering how many lipsticks I had and that I own. So this concludes my lipstick addiction or a lipstick tag however you want to call it just my favorite lipsticks and i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was really fun to film and i hope you got something from this video please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already so that you can stay up to date with all of my videos and leave any comments or questions or anything down below in the comment section and again check the description box i'll have all the lipsticks i showed in the video listed out for you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye